I do not understand what a golem is. Why would anyone create such a being? Why would one create a sword? To strike at its enemies. But you are no sword golem. You speak like a living creature, but act like a possession. I do not know what to make of you. I am no possession. Not now that the control rod is broken. No, it is still in your heart. Do you even realize this? Age by age have men stood up and said to the world, From what has come before me I was forged, but I am new and greater than my forebears. And so each man walks the world in ruin, abandoned and untried, less than the whole of his being. It is a riddle. It seems so. So are all of your kind similarly powerful, Kunari? I am not here to satisfy your curiosity, creature. That is true. I suppose I sounded like a human shattering away. I apologize. No, it is I who should apologize. You are no human. You are a vastly superior construct. That's kind of the Kunari to say. If all your people are like you, it's a wonder you haven't crushed the humans under your heel. I have wondered the same thing. One just needs to look at them. They're so... Small. Exactly. You and I, we are of the same mind, Kadan. What do you estimate are the chances of success, Kunari? For the Grey Warden, little to none. So why does it follow? I do not risk death, but it does. My mission is no different from the Grey Wardens. We must see this through to the end. It would rather perish than give up its quest. Indeed. There is honor to be salvaged in such a quest, no matter its chances. Honor is a curious thing. It is far better to be practical. What use is practicality when it leads to cowardice and emptiness? It is better to live well than to live. An uh, interesting theory. There is worth in your life, Shale. There is value, but only if it is used. I have a question of religion, Kunari. For you, Kadan, I will answer. Would its Kuhn accept a convert that was a golem? I do not know. It has never happened. We accept beings of all walks of life, so long as they are willing to accept their place in the world. And what place is that? One of equality. Within the Kuhn, an individual exists to serve. Hmm, that is less appealing. Uh, would it consider birds to be its equal as well? Birds? Birds are... But animals, enlightenment does not await them. Excellent. That sounds very promising. I have heard an interesting tale of the Kunari. Speak, Kunari. I am told that the Kunari put mages on leashes. Leashes? <laughs> what a delightful concept. It is not something that one should take pleasure in. It is done because it is necessary. Why not put them out of their misery? Crush their skulls and be done with it. Fast, efficient, fun. You have been offended by such men, so your bloodlust can be forgiven. But these ones you speak of are to be pitied. Even so, they must serve, just as any other must serve. All must find their place within the Kuhn. Does sound like a delightful place where it comes from. Mages on leashes. What will they think of next? I cannot say that they would not wish to put a leash on you as well, Kadan. That does sound less fun. Yes. The Kunari mentioned something of equality when we last spoke. I said that all were equal under the Kuhn, yes. What of humans? Surely they would not be as equal as others. All who accept the Kuhn have their place as any other. In the lands we occupy, even the Elves have come to embrace this concept. And if this place is at the bottom? If that is where one belongs, then that is where one should be. The Kunari are a very practical people, Sten. It is as I have always said, but I thank you. I wish to say that it has been pleasant fighting at the Kunari's side. I feel the same. You are a remarkable construct, Kadan. A warrior to be feared. No more than the Kunari, surely. The way it strikes down its foes, marvelous. I smile each time you roar a battle cry, knowing our foes tremble. I could watch you fight all day long. The skill you display, the form, how the light plays on its muscles. I mean, yes, well done with the fighting. You as well. Right. <laughs>